So showing you the before and after of the idle air control valve swap. Uh, the idle's a little bit high on the truck. You can see it's a little bit stuck right now anyway, but uh, you'll see it it, it, it it sounds like it's idling about 1,800 to 2,000 at some times. air control valve location on this 1991 Chevy C1500 is right under there, right under the air cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this air cleaner. I might paint it while it's off, but I also might not. This is the 5.7 V8. Um, really easy to access once you pop that off and you'll see here in a second. See this here is our new idle air control valve. It's a DriveWorks brand but nice and new. You can see over here, this is the location of the current one. So we should just have to pop that plug out right there, unscrew the idle air control valve from the throttle body, and then swap in the new one. See, I broke it free here. All I could find was my vice grip, so I just did a little number on the edges, but these aren't in here super tight. So once you once you break it free, it kind of comes out the way it should. And you can see this guy is all gunked up. I probably could clean this, which I might do. I might clean it and keep it for the future, but this isn't a part you should have to replace all that often. This is an original engine in this truck. <clears throat> so this has probably been in there since it came off the factory. But you see it's got this four pin connector. I'll show you same four pin connector on the new device side by side much different and you see there's not even a o-ring or gasket on the old one so we'll get this thing popped in and see what we can do all right we got the new guy in there sucked it up just enough to where the gasket was tight against the throttle body it's still really not that tight really no pressure on it whatsoever. Got the clip plugged back in and everything is good to go. Go ahead and give her a start and see what our idle looks like. All right, so now we're gonna give this a start, see what our idle looks like after the replacement of the IAC valve. Um, the clicking you're hearing is coming from the uh, blend door actuator for the heat and air conditioning. It's the typical issue with this truck, it's just that that actuator slamming the door, trying to, to open. It stops after about 30 seconds. Uh, to replace it, you have to kinda, you gotta kinda get in the, under the dash, and I just have not had the time to do that yet. So soon enough, that annoyance will be gone, but let's see what we got here. respectable 1500 and you can see we're already dropping back down to where we should be 1400 should settle down around 1200 so I think we might have solved our issue here um, occasionally if this does not fix the problem it could be the uh, sensor on the throttle body itself but we uh, I think we got it here and here's everything back together. Air cleaner's back on, decided not to paint it. I'm just gonna get a new one soon. Um, basically you just slip that back into your uh, airflow uh, area right here. Mine still has the lovely little dryer vent looking uh, hose going from the uh, heat shield on the, the headers to the air cleaner itself. And you just make sure you're lined up with the top right there, screw that on, and then we're 
back in business. So I'm gonna fire it up and come back around here and have you take a look at it one more time. And there we go. Runs fine, nice low idle. Got a lot of cleaning up in here to do. I just swapped out power steering lines last weekend. And that sucker was leaking forever. And I got some pretty gnarly exhaust leaks, so more to come on this, but that's the so that's it. More to come on this soon. Um, a lot of work ahead of me on this truck. We just threw some new wheels and tires on it. A lot more to go though. I'm trying to bring this beauty back to her glory days with as much original engine parts as I can. Thanks for watching and see you next time.